Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to our very first full day event in the UK. It's really great to be here and to welcome so many of you from all across Europe. I'm going to be giving a short talk before we get to meet some more of our partners this morning. Um, but uh, you might be wondering more, a little bit more about who exactly I am. Um, as Kier mentioned, I'm a director of user experience coming from our Toronto office. Um, and I'm really, really excited to get to have traveled here to meet some of you today. As a director of UX, I lead a team of designers, front-end developers, content strategists, and research, all working on our product alongside Shopify's engineers. And our focus is really on helping build experiences that engage, educate, and empower merchants and the community around them. And you can read a little bit more about how we approach our work um, on our Medium blog if you're interested. But when I say the community around our merchants, our partners are actually a huge, huge part of that. I had the chance to meet many, many of our partners at the Unite conference earlier this year in San Francisco. And the passion and the excitement and just the overall sense of community that I witnessed at that event really stayed with me. So it was a huge, um, it was a huge opportunity to get to come here to bring some of that sense of community outside of North America here in the UK and Europe. Shopify's UX team seeks to remove the barriers to entrepreneurship. And that includes our partners to provide you with the resources and opportunities to build your own businesses, um, helping our merchants. So this morning, I'd really like to review some of the things that we've accomplished together in 2016 to help make commerce better for everyone. So I'm gonna, high, I'm gonna cover some highlights from this year and share a little bit uh, from some of the partners we've heard from throughout the year. And so I'm gonna start with the numbers. Um, and to do that, I'm actually gonna rewind a little bit even further back from just this year taking a look at Shopify's growth overall. So Shopify is now over 10 years old and we've seen incredible growth. In 2012, we closed out the year with around 42,000 merchants. Four years later, we're at over 325,000 merchants in over 150 countries. We've also seen a huge rise in GMV, that is gross merchandise volume, or how much our merchants' customers have spent. In 2012, GMV was just under 1 billion US, which felt huge at the time. In 2015, that number has risen to 7.7 .7 billion, and that brings us to a total of over $24 billion since our start. On top of merchant and GMV growth, it's also really interesting to just look at Google Trends. And today, the keyword Shopify is searched for more frequently than the term e-commerce. We regularly hear that partners are actually asked to build Shopify stores, not e-commerce stores. So we're becoming synonymous with e-commerce, and that's incredibly exciting. So I now want to turn to our partner ecosystem, which has helped us reach some of these milestones. Our partnerships team is continuously growing, and we have partner managers covering all areas of the world, with dedicated resources in Australia, India, Mexico, in addition to the team we have here in the UK and those based in Canada. In addition to our partner managers, we also have a dedicated team working to produce resources and content designed to help you succeed in your businesses. And I'll give you some highlights of those shortly. Within Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, we have over 16,000 partners, 170 experts, and 10 plus partners. Those are partners with a focus on Shopify Plus. This gives you some idea of just how big this group is outside of North America. In August of this year, we welcomed um, our two new dedicated EMEA partners. As Kira introduced, we've got Joel and Shauna, uh, who are the head of partnerships and a partner manager, respectively. If you haven't spoken to them already, today is definitely a great chance to say hi, so I'm just gonna plug you guys again. Today's event is just one of the many events that we've been a part of on this side of the Atlantic. We're big believers that great things really happen when we bring people together, so we love putting on events to help build these connections. This year, we hosted our very first UK retail tour, which took place in London, Manchester, and just across the water here in Bristol. As well as allowing for merchants to share stories, get support from gurus, and attend workshops, many of our partners came to these events as well to share their experiences working with Shopify. Some exciting stats from the day. Uh, from the day held here in Bristol, we had over 1,000 attendees, 
500 guru appointments, and over 200 card readers sold. Partners involved included Swanky Apple, Strawberry, We Make Websites, Vitamin, Noir Lux, Narrative Industries, Beside Co, Statement, and Inspira. A lot of you are here today. 2016 has also seen our involvement with partner-led meetups grow. As well as providing financial support for these meetups, we've also been working to promote the events with merchants and partners alike. These meetups are a great way to put you and your business in front of merchants. And in the UK, there are three thriving partner-led merchant meetups. One in London, hosted by We Make Websites, one in Birmingham, hosted by Eastside Co., and one in Leeds, hosted by Statement. Outside of the UK, we're actually seeing some of these events start taking place in Istanbul, Sofia, Frankfurt, and Copenhagen. And next year, the program is going to grow to include cities Cape Town, Amsterdam, Paris, Berlin, Ghent, Dubai, and in Bristol. So it's great to see these expanding. We've also hosted our own afternoon or evening with Shopify events uh, focused on helping partners succeed in a number of different cities, again, in London, Dublin, Berlin, Dusseldorf. And the success of these events, we were actually inspired to expand out to the event that we're at today. We really want to put a stamp on these events. So we don't just stop at hosting, right? We want to provide the swag that you'll love. I love these great tins, and, and we got to work with designer Mike Koos to produce a range of these types of items, from the tin mugs to helping us design these really great uh, eco-friendly t-shirts made with uh, recycling bottles. Aside from Shopify-specific events, we're big believers in helping support the web design um, and development communities that we know a lot of you are also a part of. This year, we supported 10 European web design and development events, and we'll continue to do that in 2017. These events take on a number of different forms, from larger multi-day conferences to film screenings. Recently in Toronto, we actually joined up with Envision to do a screening of their film Design Disruptors, and we had over 1,000 people sign up to attend the film screening and then listen to a panel, which also included some of our product designers speaking about their feedback and weighing in. So we've been really busy with in-person events, and, but our offline duties have also been expanding through the work of our partner community team. In 2016, we saw huge growth in our partner blog as readership grew month by month, and we now feature regular contributors from partners, industry experts, and Shopify team members. Our partners blog contains everything from technical content to business tips, and it's become a regular read for a lot of you. We've had over 370 posts in this year so far, um, with increasing traffic from January to November, hovering around 2.3 million views this year so far. 76 partners have contributed to the partner blog, and we welcome many more. We also, this year, saw the launch of a regular webinar series that we're hosting. As well as technical content relating to Shopify, it's also seen industry experts like Harry Roberts, Chris Coyer, Joe Leach, Paul Bogue, just to name a few. Each of them are incredible thought leaders within their crafts across web development and design, and they're here to share their insights and knowledge for both partners and non-partners alike. We hope to expand this in 2017 as well. Finally, in 2016, we published the second volume of our Grow series. This year's edition is entitled Becoming a Full Stack Web Design Freelancer and featured contributions from 10 partners on building new skills to round out your service offerings to merchants, like learning about SEO or better marketing. We've given out 3,000 copies of the book and have many more downloaded the digital editions. Can, if you don't have a copy yet, you can actually download uh, both of them on our blog um, and our website. So that's just some of the community building that we've been working on. Um, but of course, our apps ecosystem is another really important way that we've been supporting our partners. Thanks to Shopify's APIs, developers are able to help merchants fulfill their custom requirements by building great apps that we also make available on our app store. I want to take a look at some of the exciting numbers from here. Our app ecosystem is stronger than ever, and today we have over 1,500 apps in our app store, over 1,000 unique app developers, including 123 published apps where the developers from the UK. We have over 100,000 weekly page views on our app store homepage, and on average, there are 3.7 apps installed per store. Put another way, uh, 33,000 um, apps are downloaded each and every month on Shopify. 
And in total, in 2015, we paid out $11 million to app developers. It's not just bigger um, agencies that are profiting from these app opportunities. Later on today, you'll actually hear from Space Squirrel, currently a three-person team, about their journey into the App Store. Another really cool example is from Hextum, a two-person dev team along with two part-time remote support workers working out of coffee shops in Toronto. They now have nine apps in the App Store. You can read their story on the Shopify Partner blog. For those of you wondering about um, apps and what types of apps to build, definitely check out uh, Nick and Andrew uh, today uh, who can help answer some of your questions. We can't talk about um, our apps um, and our APIs in 2016 without talking about Shopify Plus. Plus is our enterprise offering built to scale without the headaches for merchants. This year we opened a new headquarters in Waterloo, that's, that's the Canadian Waterloo, um, and recently we acquired Boltmade, a product design and development consultancy to accelerate the Shopify Plus roadmap. These are just some of the brands currently on Plus. You'll probably recognize a few of these names. For many of our partners, the door, uh, Plus has allowed them to open the door to working with bigger, higher value clients. This is a quote from Jason and Kitty at Eastside Co who are really excited at the possibilities PLUS partnerships provide with support for pitching and scoping new work, plus more APIs and features to build off of. I won't read the whole thing, but. Speaking of those PLUS APIs and features, scripts on our checkout API are available to PLUS merchants and they continue to develop. So Scripps allows you to run custom code on Shopify servers to create the kind of custom experiences plus, plus merchants may need. Some of the types of situations that we can now cater for are custom and automatic discount codes, automate a percent off discount with a purchase combo, run promotions with using discount codes, and introducing tiered discounts. So, I want to now turn our attention to what's happened with our platform and any of the new partner and merchant facing features that we've released over the last year, and especially talk about some of the possibilities that these unleash. These are just some of the highlights from 2016. Shopify Payments is expanding and recently launched in Ireland, expanding the opportunities for merchants in the, on the Emerald Isle. Our Shopify tap, chip, and swipe card reader was also launched in August, enabling POS merchants to take advantage of our fully integrated payment solution. This year was also a huge year because of the launch of Apple Pay, which is supported out of the box in the UK, making checkout lightning fast across devices, including our POS, available to all Shopify stores. And so speaking of POS, that's our free point of sale app which is combined with the new tap, chip, and swipe uh, credit card reader, and that enables merchants to sell at pop-up shops, merchandise booths, at markets, there's a ton of those happening this time of year, and of course, in-store. It's providing merchants with a full multi-channel approach to commerce. We've seen some really interesting use cases uh, of the POS, actually locally here at the Bristol Museums Group. They use POS for three shops totaling around one million visitors at around a 9% conversion, and they've got one donation desk set up as well. In the first month after introducing the POS, welcome desk donations increased by 540%, while regular sales were up 26.2% on last year over Q1 and Q2. To quote one of the, the leads from the whole project um, at Bristol Culture, POS has transformed our retail operation. I watch sales flood in via the mobile app, allowing me to react in real time to staffing and stock needs. It's also easy to, for the staff to use, many of whom have never even used an iPad before. We're planning to be a 750 to 1 million pound business in the next five years, and we'll be trusting Shopify to help us grow that business. That's a really, really exciting uh, perspective to have, and you'll be hearing a little bit more from Dan from Statement today about how they're using POS with their clients. So that's retail, but we've made improvements to our online store as well. 2016 saw one of the biggest updates to our theme system, the introduction of section content allowing for much easier customization of merchant homepages. 
sections include an intuitive drag and drop interface with our new storefront editor, where images, text, blog posts, or products can be dropped in and reordered within the home page to create a truly custom experience. We've simplified our settings options as well so, these so that these customizations can be easily saved and viewed. There's a lot going on under the hood as well, and as one of my colleagues described it, we didn't just build an editor, we built the tools and the infrastructure that allows anyone to build their own theme editing experience, truly putting the power in the hands of our partners and developers. You can expect a lot more updates around theme creation and tools. On top of the editor, we've also made other improvements to make the lives of theme developers and merchants easier. We've built a new image picker that's going to save you a lot of time on uploading, a new URL helper to help for easier linking across a theme, and fixes to Liquid making continuous improvements to our templating language. There's a new image filter, better white space and error handling, more descriptive uh, error messages, among other fixes. And on top of that, we've updated our docs to help theme developers make the transition and have included more resources on our blog, including a how-to on making themes more accessible and inclusive, which will only help grow a merchant's customer base. I actually come from a front-end development background, and these updates are, are especially exciting just because they are going to make developer lives a lot easier, and it's going to allow us to make much more custom experiences for our merchants and their customers. Speaking of web developers, our Buy Button channel also continues to grow and enables you to easily embed commerce onto any website. <coughs> Through a single script embed, you can add products, collections, and carts to any website. And we now offer several customization offer options depending on your needs and your comfort. So our Buy Button channel allows merchants to easily customize the look and feel of their Buy Buttons just within our admin and to have it match their brand. Earlier this year, we also released the JavaScript Buy SDK, which allows for developers to build a fully custom build of a Buy button. It leverages our existing APIs to fetch product and cart data to build a truly unique experience from browsing products to adding them to a cart. And it gives JavaScript developers the ultimate in flexibility in their tool chain and frameworks they want to use. Those are two extremes, and last month we released the Buy Button JavaScript Library, a functional, configurable option bringing the best of both worlds. It's highly customizable, but it's a library already built on our SDK, so you don't have to actually start from scratch to include some more customizations. So using buybutton.js, you can add more custom styles, modify the HTML that renders buy buttons, and fine tune some of that behavior without having to dive fully into our SDK. You can see a lot of demos linked from our announcement blog post and get more details on GitHub. So as well as our web-based initiatives, we're also working on our native mobile initiatives. Starting with a brand new version of our Shopify mobile app, released this September on iOS and Android, with better support for our home timeline, including push notifications and better reporting. What's really exciting is that it was developed in Shopify's lab, and it makes it faster and easier for us to give merchants additional features and better experiences across all of, the, all of our devices in the future. It's a really great foundation. It's out now, and we're going to have a lot more details about the app and the technology we use to build it at next year's Unite. In addition to the JS by SDK this year, we also released a version 2 of our iOS and Android SDKs, improving support for Apple Pay, adding support for Android Pay, and adding the ability to create and access customer accounts, making the checkout process even more streamlined. You can now sell via your app and track orders and success via the Shopify admin. Aside from our mobile SDKs and the core app, we've also been expanding the ways that Shopify can integrate into the mobile ecosystem, providing more value to merchants and even more possibilities. This summer, we launched the Facebook Messenger integration, available internationally, where merchants and customers can interact and receive automatic tracking and shipping updates and order information right within the familiar Facebook Messenger app. Another great example is Shopkey which is a keyboard extension for iPhone and iPad that lets you quickly add links to your products in messaging apps and on social media on the go. So here's a quick example of how you can use ShopKey within the Facebook Messenger app to really quickly access your products and be able to share them through the Messenger.
And finally, 2016 saw Kit join the Shopify family. Kit helps drive sales by doing everything from creating highly targeted Facebook ads to sending personal thank you emails to customers, all through SMS or Facebook Messenger. And what's really exciting is that Kit also comes with its own API that as app developers you can hook into. By integrating with Kit, your app can send proactive messages to merchants, providing a new communication channel to merchants to help them get the most out of your app. You can check out details on the API um, through this site. Those are just some of the product release highlights, and through that, we've also been hard at work helping our app developers run their businesses and be more productive. We introduced our billing API, which continues to mature and now offers three distinct ways for charging for your app. You can now charge a one-time payment, you can uh, bill recurring over every 30 days, or charge based on usage. And to this, we recently added our application credit API, which further improves billing but by allowing you to credit merchants for charges they'll incur while using your Shopify app. With Shopify handling the billing process, we're building a simpler experience for merchants and developers. As noted on our blog, Mike Potter, a developer from the Rewind app, saw a shift from around a 50% conversion up to 80% when he switched to using our billing API. We're also dedicated to providing you with better and more transparent data, and so we recently launched updates to both our app install and payout reports available via the partner dashboard to give you better visibility into how your app is doing. So I hope you all agree that you know, we've come a long way in 2016, and as much as I love to talk about Shopify and our product, today is not about that. Today is about you, our amazing partners who are growing with us. The UK is our second biggest market and it's growing thanks to many of you in this room today. We wanted to put today together to celebrate getting to this point and to start looking towards the future, to learn from each other and to share experiences and look forward to the opportunities and possibilities for 2017. Today you'll be hearing from six partners over four talks. We have peers from We Make Websites discussing the lessons behind growing their Shopify focused agency. Dom and DJ will share their journey into the App Store. Dan from Statement will share his vision of revitalizing the long forgotten independent merchant with multi-channel strategies. And finally, Tim and Amanda from Noir Lux will discuss their unique approach to helping their clients achieve success in creative industries. We'd also really love to chat during the breakouts um, to learn more about your needs and get your feedback. We're going to be continuing to invest in our partner ecosystem, and today is just one step towards helping you grow your business, achieve your goals, and realize yours and our merchant's dream. We hope hearing today's speakers will inspire you to new ideas, will encourage you to think of new ways of integrating with Shopify, and will leave you thinking about new possibilities for 2017. Today is our first full day event in the UK for partners, and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks. <laughs>